Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Mr. Peebles and the Echo Chamber. This is Rockley Smile here with Last Grey Wolf and Alpaca Patrol. How's it going, it's like fellows? A surprise now every time. Man. Yeah, man, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's, man. It's yeah, pretty man. good. It's like a the dude. It's like a balloon. Just remember the Balalamo. Yeah, you remember gotta remember the Balalamo. Yeah. Man, I love jokes that we made before the episode starts. In fairness, oh, it started. To us. It yeah, started. I know it did start. It's, it's, but it did start. to them, it never happened. That's true. Yeah. Don't tell them what to believe. Well, hopefully, they can whatever reality they want. I want to say, hopefully, yes, I can control my cards now, which is pretty nice. However, my last hand was way better than the two that I just got. All right, whatever. Deal with it, man. Yeah, hashtag deal with it. Yeah, basically. Hashtag sound sunglasses. Keep hand. Keep the hand. Tell me what you're working with. Keep hand. Keep hand. What are you? Are you okay? Keep hand. You all right? You need to and go. Been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, so it's kind of frying my brain. Oh, that's you know, not surprising. Yeah. Took like what one day of that? <laughs> one day, and your brain's just dead already. I've been playing for like three days, I think now. Oh, three days. Okay. Yeah. Well, jeez, Still. with for three days, like what must have been going wrong in my mind when <laughs> I was playing it for like three years? Yeah, that's that's I don't know, man. I don't know how long I played for actually back in the day. Played for like two and a half years. I might have played for like a year. I don't remember. It must have been like that commercial where there's that lady and she's like frying an egg and like this is your brain on drugs <laughs> and then she just takes the pan and just starts beating the shit out of everything in the kitchen. <laughs> this is your brain on that World of Warcraft brain. now. My brain was that kitchen. Fucker. <laughs> the game's a lot better than it used to be, I will say that. Says See, my, my brain's a little fried because I just played six and a half hours of Terraria. Mm, um, I would do it, yeah. It's fun. My brain's a little fries. I just got done smoking crack. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, do it. Yeah. I, I don't do drugs. Though. That would nice. probably there was, make. There you was a good joke really that you well. cracked there, Nick. Yeah, crack a few eggs. Sometimes you got to do that. Make an omelet. Mm, I got a pee. Well, that's what they. You know, that's I what get they high on when, omelets. When life gives you omelets, make, make lemonade. Make lemonade. Yeah. Why do you do that? I don't know. It's weird. I always I was so confused about that one. Oh, because you it don't like eggs. It goes well with the eggs. Yeah, well, Is it? No, it's probably because you don't you don't really like the eggs, so you just rather have the lemonade. Eggs plus omelets are a classic combination going back to the 1920s. <laughs> eggs plus omelets. So do you make like a? Do you just have like a uncooked it's an egg, egg omelet, with an omelet? Well, but there's eggs in the omelet. No, but he said eggs plus omelets. So that's like oh, there's so an eggs omelet. on the side. Yeah, you actually just like crack a... a fried egg over the top. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you were going for uncooked eggs it's, on the it's side. It's like Taco Bell, eggs. right? They they have their like tacos within tacos. You have oh, omelets man. within omelets. That would be pretty cool. What if you made uh, a true story though? The the burrito thing. The was it quesarito? It's a bur it's a burrito basically just wrapped in cheese and another layer of oh, tortilla cheese. it's it's really good i'm sure it is i don't know why they can just add more things and it just gets better i don't yeah. understand you can kind of like do before, that with food before i had rice cheese meat and a tortilla and it was good now i have all of that plus another tortilla and cheese and it's even better mm. i, I it's just it's crazy man that's my uh that's my rule for making rice dishes is just add all the shit that you have into it and it's amazing when when life gives you when rice gives you dishes make fried rice wash them make a lot wash of them. them wash, wash them the because it's hold. sticky because you had fried rice you really should wash them though yeah actually the worst thing to clean up is uh is if you make macaroni and cheese macaroni and cheese Mm. Anything with cheese. I got I got a harder one for you. What's that? Eggs in a non-stick pan. So oh, you actually a stick pan. Pan. I just you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a tr I'm a purist. I don't I don't use non non-stick pans anymore. I just don't do it. Wait, I think we've got everything backwards. What I was trying I, to I've, say I've the double pans, negative. Yeah. The pans that stuff sticks to. Yes. Cooking eggs in those are miserable. Yeah yeah yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't okay. I don't use the non non-stick. Okay, I, I don't think that makes clear. you a purist, though. I think this makes you use. I'm a purist pans. for the non-stick. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Because the non-stick. Non also, <laughs> wait. Before we continue here, here's the thing. What the You're fuck right. is up with the idea that for like non-stick pans that they just put a big ass fucking sticker on the part where, like, when you buy it, there's just like a big oh, yeah, circular so stick to prove it. Yeah, it just like yeah, but then it sticks. <laughs> like it, like you tear it, and it's like it's totally yeah. sticks, and it's awful. We found the one thing that'll stick to this, and here you go. <laughs> yeah, hey, we were just fucking Fuck lying. You. Fuck your, yourself. Heard you wanted a non-stick pan. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, go suck my balls. Go suck a dick. Yeah. Holy butts. Yeah, yeah, this, oh, is, a, this is a goblin. 
Jesus, that card. My is... commenter said that you can suck my balls, Rob, for all your goblins. <laughs> really? What did I? What did my? What did... You can gobble on my goblins. They're sick of your goblins. Balls. Yeah, you can gobble my balls. That's what they said. Gobble my goblin balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's a dumb game. Nothing oh, I... worse than a gobble of a goblin ball. Yeah. It's a nasty situation. It's a sticky situation. It's a goblin situation. What's the worst to leave in the sink after you've cooked? Is it Semen. the turkey after Thanksgiving, or is it? Yeah, I know it's probably that, but or is it the eggs? Because <laughs> when you when, when you, you add water, it in. just gets all nasty. It's the grossest thing. Yeah, it is. But it's like the dead cooked turkey skin stuck to the bottom of the pan with water sitting over it for right. a day. Okay. That smell makes me want to vomit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And so does the egg smell with the water over it. Yeah, that's Naked bad too. Ramble crush. I don't know, man. I don't even know what deck this is. Get a bramble crush. Um, I had something to say. Uh, I forgot though, so I'm That's just gonna. Fair. Is it a bad smell when you leave it in the sink? Uh, fish. Okay. It's a fish smell. It smells fishy. It smells like fish. Oh, Yo, this deck is really screwing me right now. Mm. Yeah, I think I just. I don't really have much to, to do duty. <laughs> you don't have. You don't have to duty. That's good. <laughs> I don't have a lot of duty, you know. I'm glad. That's that's it's a good thing, I think. I kind of have to go duty, actually. I don't really have to duty. I do have to do a pee pee. I don't have to do a caca. I just gotta you guys, do a pee pee. Like, really don't need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't like urination? You act like we don't always hey, talk about this. You got a problem thing. about you problem with urination, Nick? Yeah, I have fucking. I have yeah, with the... Sorry. I man. haven't. I haven't urinated in 16 years, actually. Wow, 16 years since sing strip. 16 entire whole years. Ears. I just have a day every week or so where it looks like a yellow version of brimstone from the Binding of Isaac, and I just expel all the liquid waste from my body all at once. Huh, that's interesting. It has the little, yeah. the two little lines too at the. Uh, I've like ruined most section. of the forest around my house with it, actually. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. This is probably a waste, but I feel like I'm gonna die soon. Anyway, warping time. Why are you doing that? She's definitely. <sighs> I don't. I don't know, man. I'm just. This game is fantastic. Mm -hmm. This dame is Sman Schmashmick. Schmam Schmer Schmary. Yeah. I knew you wouldn't take it. Of course I'm not going to take it. Knew it. It'd be terrible. I knew it. Hey, it's my turn again. That's it nice. It is, yeah. I remember when it was your turn before. Yeah, now it's your turn again. Why is it your turn again? I don't know. I feel like I forgot like about a minute's worth of time for some reason. Why is your name Ralph Turnigan? <laughs> More like, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to. Who the hell's Rolf Turnigan? This is your mom. Hey -o ho. Oh, this shit. is what I say. -o. I know what my mom's name is. It's not Rolf Turnigan. It could be Rolf Turnigan, like if you tried real hard. It could be Rolf Burnigan. Yeah, it could be. Uh, I don't. No, I'm trying to recombine all the letters in my head. I don't think it works in any way that I can come up with. I think that's a matter of opinion. Yeah, I mean, letters are pretty subjective. That's true. Yeah. Um, actually, names are one of the very few things that exist in reality that are completely objective, because we self-assign them, so, like, they can't be wrong. Yeah. I always wondered how it's kind of, like, yeah. You should be able to change your own name easier. I guess you, you can. You just got to go to the... I mean, it's in Texas. It's really easy. I guess it's a state-by-state -state basis, unless it's... Is that a federal thing, changing your name? I've never done it. Probably. Because I remember there's a story... Why?! Wait, well, actually, why, though? Because. You're, you're a bitch. Did you know that? <laughs> like, you're just a bitch. <laughs> this is the worst deck of all time. Uh, well, you know, this is this is the combo, though. Like, if I get this going for the for the do do dolphins, I should have a dolphin deck. That would be awesome. You're dumb, you know? You're just Dobby dumb. Dobby, dolphins. You could have done a bunch of damage to Nick, too. Well, I could I could have killed Nick, but you're, you're the one with the dragon, so... Oh right, the fucking a uh, dragon's gonna do a lot against. You got a million. dragon. You got a you got a dragon, man. Look, man, I have a dragon. You have a dragon. We all have dragons. All right, you don't have to be all like up in my dragon. All right. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I gotta be up in your you dragon. Got my fucking dragon. All right. Oh, what wow. happened to all your creatures? Did Austin block them? It's a bullshit. Uh, he blocked two of them. Yeah. 
I know you were gonna kill me that turn. That's, no, you didn't know that's that. Why you you, that's why you. Yeah, you, you, you got no your, fucking idea. You, I was gonna do you that. You got your time warps and you got your instant. I, I only have one time warp. There's only one. What, do you, what were you gonna kill me with? You have some instant uh, damage spell. I had two instants and I was gonna get another fucking gutter snipe out and it would have been four. Da no, it would have been eight damage there, and then six damage. Oh, it would have been yeah, it would have been exactly fourteen. He would have been dead. Yeah, it would have sucked. He would have fucking died. That would have been dead. When they say that you gain something based on your devotion to a color, that means like how many land you have, right? Um, devotion to color is equal to the number of mana symbols of that color in the mana costs of the permanence you control. Why can't they just say that? <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. Can we? Why do we need to couch this in some sort of ridiculous lore? <laughs> like I have devotion to my fuck you. Just tell me it's how many fucking land I have. Uh, they could have just used the symbol, the green tree that we've been using for the last fucking ten years for this game. Mana cost of permanence. Oh. 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 Wait. I don't. Never mind. I still don't fucking get it. I don't. Why would it. you do that? Because. I can kill your fucking strongest creature with a 1-1. No, yeah, can't. you can. No, you can't. <laughs> Wait, when I kill it, what happens to me? You can't actually kill it. Yeah, you should Why? read the enchantment. I don't want to. Oh, it is first strike. Mm -hmm. oh, whatever. You can kill the other two. Yeah, you can kill the other two. We'll do that. Just, you, wait, no, you can't kill the 6-1 at all, right? No. He has no means to do so. He's a means to the end. Yeah, that's a fair point. Is it, though? Nick, you're out of time. Yep. Oh, I, it wouldn't let me hit continue, so I just assumed there was something wrong with it, and I let it tick down. All right. Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it, it really doesn't. doesn't. I would I would do the rap, but I don't know how the rap part goes. It's, it's, it's kind of doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep I that in mind. I because I tried so hard. Yes. Things aren't the way they were before. You wouldn't even recognize me anymore. I know that part, I guess. Yep. Yeah. It's weird that Linkin Park just kind of throws random rap, rap verses into their songs. Yeah. I almost said rap verses, but that'd been a little offensive. Well, they they rap turned verses. like full. Uh, they they turned like full. Uh, rap, didn't they, at one point? I don't know. I know they have that new song that's on the radio every fucking hour. Wait, apparently... Okay, I'm reading something off of my Twitter timeline. Nintendo responds to fan requests for Robin Williams to appear in future Zelda title. They responded to it. They didn't say they'd do it. I remember uh, I read that. Okay. Wait, what? I don't understand that. Apparently, I don't know. They want him to be in a... Uh... There was a uh, you know, I, I don't want to be rude, but I really hate the whole... Uh, petition signing thing that people are like that's kind of a craze on the internet right now yeah yeah it's like everyone's doing it like oh we need anything ever let's make a petition on the internet it's like that's kind of not what petitions are really for exactly if you get ten thousand, obama has to tell you about yeah, it and that's a hundred thousand but yeah okay well they should lower it to ten thousand because we honestly have more things we could bother obama about yeah i mean people wanted the uh, robin williams and then some, some kind of robin williams thing in the next zelda game uh why? Because he was a big I mean, Zelda fan. He named yeah, his... but what? Yeah, I, I see. To me, it's weird because it's like, all right, they asked they asked Blizzard to do it for World of Warcraft because he played a bunch of World of Warcraft, and I was like, all right, that's really easy to do because WoW has such a huge like they've already done change that. Change an NPC, it would take yeah, some yeah, one yeah, second. Yeah, an NPC, and you know, give maybe maybe even give the NPC a cool quest or something. Like they've that's not something they haven't done before. Yeah. Uh, but Zelda is kind of a very specific anyway. game. Yeah, you can make Robin Williams into a uh, into Tingle. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> you have a Robin Williams character. Don't make him a tingle. He could tune things. How hard to try. Wait, I'm still not allowed to do this now? What? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, something's being weird. That's weird. Probably did it in the wrong order. I mean, why is it light up then? What is it? Hmm. You got it. Oh. I don't know. Is it... Do you have some sort of, like, uh... There. Alright, I had to stop the timer. Oh, okay, I see. That's not gonna... Well, I mean, it'll kill my thing. No, it won't. Oh, the little one. Yeah, yeah it'll, kill the, it'll kill the little one, yeah. 
Oh, right, okay. Man, way to down me, Austin. Well, I, 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 the, the freaking, it's still impossible to see what's blocking what in this game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Doesn't even matter anymore. Doesn't even matter how much you cry. Does it? No. Oh. Doesn't matter. Does okay. not matter at all. What, what does this thing do? Oh, you fucker. A spoiters. See yeah, us, some fucking spoiters. Hey, yeah, you did. Uh, I mean, it, it's good because it means I get a few more turns to sort out what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, you go, fucking no uh, spoiters, yeah. Spaders. Some, some spoiters. How does that do? This... Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. That is a good. Yeah, that's good. You're gonna give me a chance to get some blockers going, I guess. Get some beef up there, man. Get the beef. Get some, Put the beef on the table. Get some beef meat. So the issue you you run you into now is that Rob can just get a volcanic geyser and win. Oh, I know. That he will. Nice. And he'll get the, the giant ogre magma. <laughs> magi. Oh, giant Inferno. ogre magma magi. Giant ogre magma. You know what I mean. Inferno Titan. Yeah, the, you know, orange. He'll probably come out on this turn. You mean this guy? Oh, look at that! <laughs> He's talking about that guy. I'm so surprised that you're going to win another game because you pulled that same fucking card out. <laughs> Inverno Titan will yet again have a fucking absurd win rate. It never loses. Uh, I guess actually, it, it never doesn't win. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just realized something. I could just what? do this. Because, um... Okay. Whatever. <laughs> it's like time. not very fun to play with you when you always win with the same move. I, well, yeah, I mean, that's what this deck is based around, but yeah. Sorry. Why, uh. I wanted to switch, um. Why, why, why wouldn't you just do damage to his creatures to Yeah, why didn't you just kill me? There's no reason to. Oh, it has haste. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, because of the ogre. You know, ogres are like volcanoes. They kill all your creatures. That's how the saying goes. <laughs> That's true. They have layers, the volcanoes. Yeah. But in fairness, in fairness, the goblin deck doesn't always do that. It only sometimes... Pretty much every episode we've recorded, it's done that. Well, like, it doesn't always get those draws. Like, the draws were kind of perfect, where I had the quest for the goblin lord and two of those uh, pull-out-two-goblin things. So that, like, kind of worked out really well for me. Like How many times have you not gotten that draw? Because I feel like you've gotten it almost every time. No, I almost never get the quest for the Goblin Lord. Quest for the Goblin no, Lord. No, actually have ogre. Got... Yeah, I don't get the. I get the. I don't get the ogre a lot either. I do get the Inferno Titan pretty much every game though. Well, that the yeah, Inferno. Titan. I, I pretty much always get the Inferno Titan. Yeah, but uh, the I I had, some, I, I had two gutter snipes and like three cards ready to go. I would have killed both of you in like one turn. I know. That's why I killed you first. You didn't know. I know. You I know, know I you have the killing power to kill. You to, don't, yeah, don't you know. you have. Don't even talk to You me have anymore. done twenty two damage to me on one turn before, and I know that that's a pro that's a possibility with you. So that's why, like, without uh, even touching my creatures, so I know that there's no reason to keep you alive, especially since you had that dragon. Dra dragon, man. While it's Nick had, dragon. Uh, while Nick had just the one one at that point. I'll show you a one one. You're talking about your penis. Yeah, I mean, you escalated very quickly, and I really didn't, so yeah. that kind of decides that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, well, the thing is, like, ge generally, it doesn't work out that well, because the thing is, like, e even even at a point, like, it was it was troublesome. If I didn't get that Inferno Titan, I probably would have lost, because you were getting to the point where you could just attack me with all and nearly kill me with just the sheer amount of damage that I couldn't block. I had four health, and I was just clinging on for dear life. I couldn't even kill one of your creatures as first strike. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was that, but the, um, but I, you know, I was at least four turns away from being able to do anything in my favor, and that's if you didn't also have shit coming out, which yeah. you of course do. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the goblin de deck hits fast and hard, and if I if it doesn't hit fast and hard, then I pretty much lose. And you I have to be able to your kill. penis. Yeah, I, well, I do. Yeah, all, every time. Okay, good. Every time I gesture right into my penis, so it's a good time. I actually right tried. I tried building another deck, but the. Um, the cards are just fucking trash ass. They're really bad. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, I keep reading them. the comments I don't even and they have them all. They're, they're they, they keep... I was make I was trying to make a black deck and it like 
the cards just don't have synergy. Like, there was... There, it seems to be, like, heavily vampire-favored, and I was like, alright, maybe I'll make a vampire deck. And then you go farther in, and there's, like, no fucking vampires after you get past, like, the t level 2 things, and there's no, like, vampire synergy. And, like, the big black creatures are not actually that strong. It's, like, kind of whack. So There's no, there's no colors. big cards. Yeah. There's, there's really no big cards in this in these for some reason. Like... The Except old for magic. that, like, 12, 12 fucking crazy thing that you have to unlock. Well, yeah, but that's useless because it's, like, when are you going to have that much land with without, like, any oh, yeah, robbers? Yeah, milling, yeah. Well, actually, I didn't I didn't have a lot of land that, that game. That's it. The, the, my deck is, is reliant on using a small amount of land. I think at the end of the time, I had, like, enough to cast the Inferno Titan, which was, like, 5 or 6 or something like that. So... All right, so I'll build a, I'll try to build a deck that basically just kills all your land. And then yeah, we'll see how you, you can do, do that, that, yeah. Well, the red has a thing that makes you, uh, that kills land. But yeah, you, you could do that. Man, that would piss people off. Yeah, it'd be real shitty. I have a couple of those land killer cards in my deck, actually, in the goblin deck. I'll kill lands and counterspell, and then I'll be the most hated person on the <laughs> internet. Yeah, those, in, uh, 2014, or, tw yeah, 2014, the counterspell deck was not very good in multiplayer besides just fucking with people. Like, it didn't right. really win. It was just like, hey, you don't get that big creature. Oh, you're just going to kill me with the other one now. All right. Well, it was still fun fucking with you. Didn't Ohm use one like that at one point? Maybe. Or he was just always black deck with him. Yeah, he did He did a lot of black decking. Yeah. Did a lot of black decking. But yeah, I want to... This is what I say. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I want to make an. I want to make another deck, but I just don't know which please, color to use. Please, please do. <laughs> please actually just pick like three cards and auto complete it, and then we can play. <laughs> you really not like the goblin deck that much? Oh, I'm really tired of it. Yeah, I really wish you'd get another deck. <laughs> All right, I'll make. I'll make a new. I'll make a new uh, deck when I get the chance. Sweet. I'll try. I, I I did. I did actually spend like an hour trying to build a black deck, and it was just such trash ass that I was just like, okay, this is not happening because it's just like there's there's nothing to build with it. Like the, I know. I think the best thing that you could do with it is to build like the multicolored because that's what it seems to be. Is like you should be doing multicolored shit with the with the black deck, but um. Yeah, just kind of. There's shitty. like barely twenty cards for you to even choose from, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to come up with combos with that. When especially when most of them don't even work with each other very well. Yeah, like the the I just like you can't make pure black. Like also like my my goblin deck is not really meant to be pure red either. It kind of works a lot of the time, but like goblins aren't totally about direct damage damage like I have Dram direct dermers like I have like the the like a true goblin deck is supposed to make direct dermot <laughs> Dylan <laughs> McDermott directing Fucking Dylan McDermott Dermot. that's the new Dermot the Frog that's a new uh, documentary that I'm making Dylan McDermott the Frog <laughs> McDermott the Frog <laughs> you should make a movie called Dylan McDermott the Frog yeah, no, uh, uh, Fred Durst has added you to his or her friends list. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, the, um, yeah, no, the, like, a just goblin bragging. deck is supposed to be about, um, like, just Pissing having... off everyone. But ha no, it's, it's not really supposed to be about direct it's damage. red slivers. Yeah, sort of, but it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be more like, you know, have a bunch of fucking goblins, but I can't really build that. I would love to build that. I would prefer that to the deck that I have because I really don't like direct damage very much. But you know, gotta make. Do. Yeah, I mean the reductive element has been to the point where it's like, all right, well instead of like having a choice from six different elements, we'll just distill it down to the two most effective cards, and then you can build a quote goblin deck around these two cards. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Like if okay, I got well, if they whatever. if they had Krenko mob boss in the uh, in the game, I would so fucking that that card is so awesome. That one's from like 2013. That's the one that uh, that generates go like it. I think it doubles the amount of goblins that you have on the field. Um, but you know, you're complaining about not being able to build a better deck when you're already winning most of the times. It's like, what kind of arms race would this be? I don't have any better options than what I'm doing already. I don't know if At I'm, least I'm not aware most of, them. of the time. I'm winning like a fair percentage, but I think it's I think it's been mostly even actually. I think. Who knows. I guess I wanna, somebody can run the analytics. Yeah. I want to I go play 20, 2012. Yeah. What other, <laughs> it's good. See, like, what other red shit does it have? It's got the... 
Each player draws three cards, then discards three cards at random. See, that doesn't fit at all. Like, what does that happen? Like, all right, players can't gain life this turn. Damage can be can't be prevented this turn. So deals three damage to target player. Okay, yeah, that's fucking whack. That's like a. Really they want you to do a scavenger hunt through all of the different colors to try and assemble a deck out of whatever colors fa have the same theme. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Then use gates. This is a stupid card. Seismic Strike. Seismic Strike deals damage to target creature equal to the number of mountains you control, and it costs three mana. Okay, that's really cheap. Yeah, that's like really strong. Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, Paragon of Fierce Defiance. I mean, I guess yeah, that's that would be pretty good. Yeah, that would. I guess that would be good for my deck. But yeah, no, there's nothing else red that in the premium. There's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven uh, extra red cards that I can get. I don't know why Maelstrom Archangel is in here, because at what point can you build an all color deck? How is that even possible? I have no idea. Gates. Whenever Maelstrom get enough yeah. gates, you don't need lands anymore. They use up less space in your deck, and then I guess you can fill it with colors. Yeah, I guess, but. I don't right, know, but there, there's already a multicolor deck in Magic 2013 that was really, really good. In fact, we had to ban it from multiplayer because it was winning too much. Mm. Remember that was the one we said we couldn't play anymore? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wish you could random again. That would be fucking great. That would yeah. be nice. You could close your eyes and select a deck. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> you'd have to build a bunch Yeah, first. I'd have to build a million decks. Why can't and... we use the pre-constructed decks in multiplayer again? We can. Because they suck. Yeah, they're also trash ass, but yeah. Oh, I didn't have access to them when I went to look. No, it says I can't. What you have to, how do I do that? What you have to do is, so you hear, I'll, I'll actually do it oh, on I have stream. to build it in, in yes. create yes. a deck and to, then export it. Yeah, you have to create a deck and then uh, and then you can base it on one of the other ones and then, uh, and then just use right. that. Like a template. But I only have three of those even to choose from, which I know there's like more like really? 10 or 15. You only have, oh, okay. I didn't know that. I have all of them. I didn't realize that that was part of what I bought. I don't know what I need to do to unlock more either. Maybe uh, you just have to get all the cards. You gotta pay your soul in money. Is I it know. just a random, like, I beat a boss and it gives me one or something? Because I didn't really do you notice have? that. Do you have Natural Order, Chaos, and Slaughter, oh. and Heed the Call? I'll have to look. I don't even know where that is. I don't even know how to get to it from here necessarily. Dex, card collection, probably decks. Yeah, you go, to, you go to Dex and then you go to Create Deck and then it'll give you an option to use any of those as a template. Heed the Call, Blazing Intellect, Freezing Winds, Heroic Charge, and Custom Deck I can choose from, but then there's more that I can't. Yeah, yeah, I have Life and Death and um, Echoing Roar, Cruel Denial, and Chaos and Slaughter. So why are these locked? I don't know. Maybe you don't have certain cards like that are in those decks. Oh, I've got to build the deck before I can get to it I guess. by unlocking all the cards in it. That Maybe. sounds really annoying. Yeah, that sounds really annoying. Cool. That's interesting. Well, maybe. Thanks, Magic 2015. <laughs> Maybe I'll. Uh... Huh. Maybe I'll just make a bunch of these, like these base decks. Maybe we could all do that. Maybe we could just make a bunch of these base decks and then just try to random every time, like go at the screen and just like move the little cursor thing yeah we'll just go at the screen we'll just move the little <laughs> cursor thing and then i'll we'll random that's yeah. how it works yeah that's basically how it how it works i like how my mm -hmm. first that's what it does behind the scenes when you ask it to random yeah uh -huh. pretty just much a little yeah. man kind of makes it go at the screen the little cursor thing goblin dicks i have such a great like image for my goblin dicks deck Oh, it's wonderful. Excuse me. He's a. It's well. The deck is the gap. The deck that has been uh, been fighting you with the, with the goblins. It's called Just a bunch of green phalluses. It's called it's called goblin dicks. No, it's actually uh, like a demon man who's like he's like kind of, he looks like he's snarling. It looks actually like he's just seen like a shocking scene from Game of Thrones. Oh man, that's what it looks like to him. He's like, no, they did not kill that character. No. Or all of those characters on the same episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. I wonder if the new book is going to come out before the next season. Doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> that book's never coming out. Maybe. It might. I mean, it's only no. been two years, right? Is what you said. It's been three. Oh, it's been three years. Yeah. Did you know Hodor has a fake penis? Really? 
like the apparently they uh, the actor had to have a prosthetic penis strapped over his actual one because they found it to be more representative of what that very large man should look like in his nether regions oh that poor guy i thought i thought he actually did so have a massive right? penis yeah oh that's unfortunate that was a pretty big penis that I mean, was a big penis but yeah i mean geez that sucks i mean for my standards it was pretty average but you know <laughs> that uh oh, that, that poor guy that that kind of sucks now to to imagine that he has actually a small penis for the size of man that he is hmm. yeah there's a debate about whether or not all of the nudity in Game of Thrones was fake. It's not all fake, yeah. but some of it is. Well, I will say, knowing an actor who's on a popular television program on Showtime, um, he has told me stories about like what they do. Like, basically... Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, it's Robert Downey Jr. No, yeah, it's my friend, uh, my friend uh, Jeremy. He's Dylan on... McDermott. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan McDermott. He's on. Um, <laughs> he's on that one show. What, what is he on? He's on that uh, American Horror Story. One Tree Hill. D Dylan McDermott. No, but uh, yeah. my friend Jeremy White. He's on. Um, uh, fuck. What's it called? Shameless. He's on. Fuck. I love yeah, that he's, show. Yeah, he's on Shameless. And um, anyway, he told me a story about this one time. I'm not gonna name names here. But one of the people gave another of the people a half of a Viagra so that his dick would be, like, you know, not not erect, but, like, bigger. Oh, so a that, nice yeah. job, a nice semi. Yeah, for the, for the camera so that it doesn't look like he has a tiny shriveled up penis when he... Because I think he was, like, passed out on a bed or something and he had to be naked right. and they showed him, like, his crotch shot, so... Him, like, half I feel so bad for male strippers because that's like their job is to always have a semi erect penis. Dude, I don't feel bad like, for them. That sounds like a great job. There's after a while though, that doesn't seem fun anymore. Thing turns freaking purple and then black because it's like it's not supposed to have blood in it for that long. Yeah, yeah, true. It's supposed to go to the doctor after that amount of time. Yeah, I guess so. They probably use they probably use like erection helpers. I would think they use our fucking rubber band or like a fucking whatever they call it, the yeah. little thing that Actually, goes to the top. Yeah, you know, I read up on cock rings, not like the Prince Albert yeah, that. that you pierce, but the the one that you just put over your your dong. Like I didn't yeah, know that, but rings. apparently that retains boner. That's what it's for. I didn't that know that. That is the point of it. Yep. I had no idea. I thought that that was like a... Uh, Johnny Cockring. I, th I, thought, I thought that a Cockring was like added pleasure or something, like something like that. But um, actually, I did find a Cockring that had a little vibrator attached to the top of it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um, the tickler. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the uh, the jelly jiggler. I have a penis. A man to the jiggling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, that, seems, that seems like that would be pretty cool. But... Yeah, no, I, I didn't know. Yeah, but not for, like, eight hours. Yeah, that's true. Well, do they really... I, I don't know if they actually strip at parties for eight hours. I don't know how long they strip at parties, but it, I can't imagine it would be fun for that long. Yeah, it's got to be like it. Well, I, like, some of the... I've seen videos of male strippers at, like, weddings. And, yeah. it, and they always have purple dicks. Oh, well, I don't know. if I've never seen one with a purple <laughs> dick. But I will say that what I've seen is, like... Is like their job is basically to like do a helicopter with their dong and like slap old ladies in the face with their penis. Do the helicopter dick. <laughs> do the helicopter. That sounds like a great job. Like like, what's your job? Oh, I cock slap old women at at <laughs> like wedding recitals. Like that sounds fucking at awesome. At the recitals. Yeah. Not even the actual thing. They're just getting no, ready. No. Like I gotta cock slap some old women yeah. today. Well, I don't know when. When do you hire a male stripper? Like, what do you? I think it's for the bachelorette party. Actually. That must. Yeah. That must be what it. Is. Yeah, yeah that's that kind of makes some sense, right? That would make more. You do that thing yeah. with the whipped cream too, where they make it flow like waterfalls down their belly. <laughs> oh, really? God damn it! Do yeah. the women lick you off the? Do the women lick off the whipped cream? Yeah, the idea is that they they drip it down their chest and then onto their dong, and then the women are supposed to lick down to it, and then because they're so silly, they don't know where the dong starts and the whipped cream oh, ends. Oh, I see. <laughs> and they just keep on going. <laughs> wow. So they cannot the, feel guilty or anything like that. That is the best way to describe that situation. I can, can, but can Don't you imagine know. if, like, if there's a bunch of old ladies sitting in chairs around you watching you swing your dong around, and you have, like, this, like, semi-erect to erect penis, and you're just, like, staring them in the eye and slapping your penis against them. Like, that sounds so funny. Like, that sounds like the funniest job ever. And they probably and get it like a, a sick beat too. It's probably like, oh, yeah. yeah. And they get so the like they're like totally naked and like wear like bow ties and like that sounds hilarious. That sounds like the funniest job ever. And they have like a naval captain hat on. Yeah. and That's it. And they probably get paid really well too. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they get paid really well for what they do. 
don't know. So Rob confirm future male stripper. Dude, guys. I would totally if I had the body to be a male stripper, I would do that instantaneously. No jokes seriously. Also, if I was really ripped, why would you wear a shirt? Like I would never wear a shirt ever. They just wouldn't wear why would you ever wear a shirt? Like there's no reason to. Dude, you don't want to get chlamydia from some old woman. <laughs> I don't think you get chlamydia from slapping your cock on some lady's I face. I don't know. They all, like, touch it and suck it and do weird stuff to it, don't they? Do they? Wow, touch I don't it, know. suck That's... it, and do weird stuff. <laughs> that would be, that okay. would probably be... The male stripper credo, yeah. That, w <laughs> <laughs> that would be probably prostitution if they did that, if they were sucking on his tongue. I thought that sometimes they just have fun. Like, they do the thing where they get you up on stage and then they put the towel behind your head and then you're just supposed to do silly things and then, you know... Probably sucking it is about the only thing you can do at that point. Really? Huh. I don't know how much of the pornography industry is based on actual reality. So that's my a good view point, of all yeah. of this is completely warped. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, the videos that I've seen probably are not necessarily, um, uh, indicative of anything. Indicative. Really. They could there be just completely go. fictional. Who yeah, knows? Could be, yeah. Could entirely be. Maybe male strippers, like, the big tease is they show off their abs once and then they leave. Maybe most male Who strippers knows? don't even have abs. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, but if they're all big and flabby, and they just come out and they're like, check <laughs> out these old ladies. <laughs> yeah, they're just like flabby, fat dudes who were like balding and just have like, you know, average sized penises. It's like that Chris Farley bit that they used to do where he'd come out and he'd wiggle around with the suspenders yeah. and he'd like fall over. <laughs> That'd be great. I would do that too. That'd be amazing. Like every bit Chris Farley has done has resulted in him falling over, hasn't it? <laughs> How about that Veronica, Veronica, whatever. You know, I... She's, uh, she's, what a piece of ace. <laughs> I, I know from I experience. Spade Chris Farley pairing me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know from experience. No, you don't. No. No, I don't. But, uh, I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy who does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying no, there, brother? You, you don't know. No, nah, no, you don't. <laughs> well, no, no, I, no, I don't really, but, uh. But I can imagine, right? You can, you can imagine. You, you're imagining it, right? And it's like, all right. All right, everybody on the bus. Yeah, everybody on the bus. No yelling. All right, here we go. <laughs> I miss Chris Farley. I know. He was the greatest, man. Uh, I really was... wish he didn't have a drug problem, but yeah. what can you do? Yeah, it happens. I, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I will say that I was he, when he died, I was young enough that I didn't, you know, that didn't really affect me because I was... I don't know. Uh -huh. I must have been like 11 or 12 when he died. So, I don't know. I hate the age gap between us. It's just enough for me to be like, yeah, I had a completely different experience. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that must have fucking sucked. Well, I can I can relate in when George Carlin died. Like, I was fucked for a while. Like, that sucked so many dicks. It's actually like almost as bad. Or no, George Carlin was probably worse. But like, it was pretty equivalent to Robin Williams dying. Like, that was... <sighs> yeah. yeah, I only knew George Carlin's material only a few years before he passed, so it wasn't as big of a deal for me. But Robin Williams, I grew up with, so yeah, I grew up with both of them. But yeah, I mean, like George Carlin, like made me love stand-up comedy, and this segue, by the way, yeah. greatest segue of yeah. all time. <laughs> yeah, really, male stripping. Into... What's up with male strippers' erections? <laughs> Let's talk about celebrity deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares what fucking segues we do anymore? Yeah, really. I mean, it, it wasn't the classic Rob segue, but it was. It was definitely a segue. It, it got. It got. Sick. It almost made sense actually how we did it, but it's like yeah, just yeah. The that, that's why it crazy. wasn't a Rob segue. It did, yeah, I right? know. Yeah, it, did, it did pretty that's, much. That's segue. The, Rob segues aren't even segues. That's the thing. Yeah, it's just a different thing that came into my head. But here's yep. the thing about. See, okay, can I explain why Rob segues exist? Okay, so oh, I thought you were gonna do a Rob segue. No, right no, there. no. I'm really depressed that you didn't do it. <laughs> the reason, also, dragons. How sweet are they, right? Like, yeah. come on. No. Why? What do you have to explain? They're just tangents. No. You just think of something and you say it. Well, well, no. Here's the thing, though. Like, when I, when a Rob segue happens, what happens is a bunch of connecting dots happen inside my head very quickly, and I forget that you can't hear my thoughts. So I just go what? on like as if you had heard what I was saying in my head, but you didn't. So I just, you know. Yeah. None of that surprises me. Yeah, 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 really. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty much yeah. just the stream of consciousness Let's Player. Right, right. I'm just thinking of Rob on a Segway now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. 
a I, male stripper I need to on a see segway. Rob on a Segway so he can pick a picture of it and then use that as like the Rob Segway picture <laughs> that we can flash on screen. Does someone have an alpaca have on a Segway? Like, is that a picture that exists? I'm gonna look this I'm up. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah. I doubt. That they, seems a little dangerous. Fit on one. It'd be, be really Back. specific. You'd have to hold its back legs and stuff, or, or hold its front legs. All right. There's a man on a Segway. There's no alpacas to be found. There's a camel. We're related, but we're not exactly camels. Okay, there's some. Two, there's two alpacas kissing. That's, I see that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Maybe talk to Snow Zombie. See if you could commission an alpaca on a Segway. Yeah, as I'd an image. Probably do that. Yeah. But he would draw it. He probably would. Yeah. He did that one so, of the. Uh, oh, whoops! It is. I didn't want it. Oh no! No, don't chroma. Get out of here. No chroma key. Sorry, I'm just gonna get this picture of this. Roma is not the key in this particular situation. It really isn't. Yeah, I'm just gonna have this picture of two alpacas kissing on my. Uh, That's beautiful. On my video now. Once I get it working, there we go. Glorious. I just have that man with like a marble for a face. Hmm. Okay, I see what you're saying. Single player campaign man. Mm -hmm. I got. You. Get a horse with a marble too. Seems like a nice. You know what's funny about these alpacas kissing is like one of them is just like, ew, no, stop it, and then the other one's like, yeah, you like it. Give me more, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Give, me Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that was good. You gotta be that. as obnoxious as possible when you make that sound. You really got it, okay. yeah. Well, um. You know. Bay. On, GG. on that note, GG. On that note, we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools. I'll poop in your lunch.